Welcome to Love Where You Live, showcasing the best of Sheboygan County from the Sheboygan County Chamber. I'm Deidre Martinez, Executive Director of the Sheboygan County Chamber, and tis the season of giving. As we are preparing for the holidays, I want to introduce you to a couple of places in the county to find that perfect gift. So our first guests are Tammy and, T Tammy and Kendra Connard um, from TLC Casuals, which is right on the riverfront in the city of Sheboygan. So welcome to you guys. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. having us. We are so excited to have you. And um, you've brought lots of goodies to share with our audience today as well. So that's a lot of fun. Um, but we'd love to learn just more about TLC Casuals and what we can expect to find in your store. So um, I know you guys have recently celebrated an anniversary. Am I correct? Yes. All right, wonderful. Yeah. So how long have you been down on the riverfront then? Over 22 years. 22 years, okay. And I know before the show, you were kind of sharing what your view out your store windows <laughs> used to look like compared to what it is now. So tell us more about that. I mean, you've lived through that transition. Yes, well, I was in retail locally for about 13 years, and then I decided to go out on my own and went driving around Sheboygan and they were just building the shanties that I was in. And the minute I saw it, I knew that was where I wanted to be. And it was interesting because the location was so new that we were looking across where Blue Harbor is now at just piles of coal. Wow. And they talked about the future and what would be coming. And I knew I wanted a destination place mm -hmm. and um, something unique that would bring people to the riverfront to stop. Absolutely. And it worked. It, um, we used to, when we started out, we were just in the front of the building. Okay. I think there was like a craft store in the back. Okay. And then years later, we took over that side and then tried that for a couple of years and had two entrances, two different stores, and then talked the landlord into letting us open up the walls and just make it one big store. Very nice. Okay. And so you had mentioned that now you guys are at about 2,000 square feet of store space. Right. So that's a lot of room to find lots of fun things. It is. We fill it with lots of goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And so, Kendra, when did you become, were you a part of the business from the jump with it being a family business, or when did you get um, more yeah. involved? Pretty much my entire life. <laughs> I lived at the store. Um, but once I was out of high school, I started doing a little bit more. And um, just in the last five years, really, um, I spent a lot of time there. Okay. Very good. I needed help with a point of sale system, um, all the social media. Okay. So that's where she yeah. became the big help. And I think in right around probably over, gosh, 10 years ago, I started their website. Um, so then even through college, I'd do stuff and meet my mom on buying trips and oh, okay. everything. I have three daughters, so I would take them with me whenever I could. Okay. My mom would come along. Um, it used to set up, reps would set up in like Green Bay in hotels. So mm. my mom would take them swimming and they'd check in with me as I'm buying. You know, my favorite <laughs> memory is when I was probably... I don't know, 13, 14 years old, she would drag us to um, Chicago for her buying trip. And drag you, because it was them. awful. It was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, long days. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I know. I know. It's we're looking right. at thousands of watches and thousands <laughs> of, you're, it's a lot of work a lot, and whatever. So she would drag us all there, and I remember crawling on the ground at the end of the day <laughs> being like mom I can't look at anything else she's like I just have to buy watches she would be filling up these tubs <laughs> full of what like oh hundreds my. thousands probably of watches and I'm like wow. I cannot look at anything else <laughs> but now we do it and we everyone do, and thinks we go it, and yes. have fun it's a lot of fun but it's a lot of work. I'm sure I my it's, it gets it tiresome. To one of our Vegas <clears throat> trips when we, and we buy eight in the morning to eight at night. night. And it was like 24,000 steps that day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, it's good. It keeps you in yeah. good shape. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So 22 years, you mentioned you knew you wanted to have a destination, but what was the inspiration for TLC Casuals? It's a, it's a bit different than some of the other things you would find in Sheboygan County, truly. We really had a one-stop shop where you could come and buy something for yourself, but find a gift for someone. And we wanted 
there really wasn't a lot of Sheboygan apparel. Um, we just find that the more unique things we can come up with makes us stand out because it's not something you're going to find somewhere else. We design a lot of the shirts ourselves. Okay. Um, so you won't see them anywhere else. Very we nice. are constantly coming up with new designs each season. Um, I also have a store in Cedarburg in the winery. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we do a lot of wine themes. Okay. Um, I think it's popular. We have some stores. viewers that are possibly, possibly. You know, wine I mean, fans, so that's <laughs> that's positive. And being on the lake, we have lots of lake stuff. Okay. Um, and we always are looking for new, unique lines, and uh, we always kind of go for. I, I think a lot of people love us too because of the quality of the clothing that you get. Is it lasts and forever, and the price point is really good. Okay. So many people that come up and stay on South Pier from Chicago just love the prices. Mm -hmm. They comment that, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we're not bare bones pricing, but we're very reasonable and we okay. give good quality. And, and I'm sure, I know moving from Illinois a year ago, I was like, I had sticker shock in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh. When we would go places, I'd go, what? <laughs> Did they, like, is this on clearance? <laughs> um, because, yes, you know, when you're in Illinois, there's just this expectation and, and things um, in a lot of cases are significantly more expensive. So Yeah, and being there all this time, we have so many women that make us their destination on their way to Door County or okay. on their way, this is one of their stops. Very and good. so we get to know all these people and for years. And some people will go from Cedarburg store in the same day to our Sheboygan store. And that's always really fun and cool. Because there's different things at both stores. Some of okay. it's similar, but you might there's a lot different. Okay. So tell us a little bit, I know you talked a little bit about the design and um, how you guys, you know, kind of design some of your own products, but tell us a little bit more about what treasures we could expect to find um, if we were to come visit the store. Unique jewelry, uh, tons of scarves, shoes. We have the um, new bags that are made out of army tents. Okay. I mean, we're always looking for that special item that you can talk about yeah. and is durable and different. Mm -hmm. We have um, something no one has. It's a very sturdy, beautiful brooch okay. that is so strong it will even hold a blanket magnetic. scarf in place. Wow. A magnetic, okay. It's a magnetic pin. Oh, so it's not putting holes in your no. clothes because that's always kind of a pain, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have a really cool jewelry line that's made out of a tree nut. And it's how the women of this area in Ecuador make a living. And it's just really beautiful, unique pieces. Wow. Lightweight. Mm -hmm. So if people are allergic With to no jewelry, metal. To yeah. the metal, they can wear it. We have a line called um, Good Works that's all positive sayings, Bible sayings, all uplifting. Okay. They give percentages back um, to good causes. Okay. So it sounds like you guys have some different types of partnerships, which I, mm -hmm. I was not aware of. Um, tell, tell me a little bit more about some of these partnerships. And it sounds like this is a, a way that you guys kind of give back and, and help out. We do food drives um, and give donations to the food pantry. Kendra's in the middle of a, um, a gift drive for children placed in out-of-home care here in Sheboygan County. Okay. Um, we have some shirts that we do um, that we custom make and then all the proceeds go to different charities and okay. um, the, our recent one was to help with the Child Abuse and Neglect Fund here in Sheboygan County. Okay. Um, we do probably <clears throat> 12 fashion shows a year all over Milwaukee. We also set up booths all over okay. um, to bring the clothing to the public so they can see us and remember <coughs> us. That's always our big thing. Right. We can't advertise like the big box stores, so we try to get the merchandise out there just to remind people that we're there. Very good. So, tell, and I, I wanted to ask about, I know I've, um, I haven't had a chance to come to one of your fashion shows, but I know this is something you said 12 times a year, mm -hmm. um, and I know you do quite a few throughout Sheboygan County as we well. Do. Um, 
So tell us a little bit more about what does that look like, and, and if I or the viewers are wanting to come and um, you know, check something like that out, where are we getting that information, and how can we get invited to the show? Um, a lot of it is right on Facebook. If you follow our TLC Casuals Boutique Facebook page, okay. and then we also have a VIP group called Style Is Forever. Um, you can just search that on Facebook. It says TLC VIP group. You join the group. Um, that's where all the fun happens. <laughs> okay. uh, we do... Uh, discounted pricing just for being in the group. We do tons of giveaways, um, and then we do live sales every other Wednesday. Okay. So for people that are out of town or, like, Too a lot busy. of our customers go out of state in the winter, but they still want to shop with us, mm -hmm. um, busy moms, you name it, um, they can watch the live sale, and we show about 50 items um, in the live sale, and it's all at a discount. And then people can come in and pick it up okay. um, at that discounted price, or we can ship it right to them. Wow. But with our fashion shows, um, we we share a lot of when they are in those groups and stuff. Okay. Um, we do do email blasts. Yeah, and okay. for people that aren't on. So we could go and register someone yeah. to be uh, in the uh, email list and mm -hmm. get that information. Yeah, so that any way. women's groups come to us and ask us to do shows. So we do oh, shows okay. for a lot of the local women's groups and okay. we're I mean throughout Elkhart, Sheboygan, you know wherever we can right. bring it to you and then we usually set up a little booth area and sell right after the shows too. Wow okay and I know that um, when this show airs it, I'm not you know we, I don't know the exact date yet but it may or may not be before the market um, is closed out at Elkhart and you guys yes. are going to be participating in that as well. 10 days. Yeah, All right. 10 days. November 30th it starts for 10 days from 10 to 5. Okay very good so they could find you that way as well. Absolutely. Wonderful so I know we're um, running short on time but is there anything else you'd like us to know about um, TLC casuals before we carry sizes small through pretty much 2X. We do have okay. some petites. We have some things that are more in junior sizing and missy sizes. So we try to carry a wide variety. I mean, we have everything from the funky new pattern jeans to something dressy for okay. a special occasion. Okay, so it's not limited. It's very diverse. And I, you guys had mentioned um, before the show that Kendra kind of almost does some personal shopping. Yes. So if you're like me and you have no idea what the heck you're doing <laughs> or what to buy for yourself, um, then I can reach out to you and you yep. can make sure that I'm dressed to impress and, yes. and matching and not looking <laughs> we, like a clown. We have a great yeah, sales our, staff. We have so many people that will come in and just say, dress me. Yeah. And they literally go to the dressing room and just say, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Let's get this done. I can appreciate that. I am not, a, you know, I know it might sound strange, but I am not a fan of shopping. <laughs> but they love that. And, yeah. and they love if you bring in something you're wearing and say, okay, what can I do with this? Right. Scarves, jewelry, and we'll help you. Yeah, we'll all the employees are so good at styling. So anyone is, you can stop yeah. in anytime and they'll help you. Very good. Now, how many employees do you guys have at the Sheboygan store? Nine. Nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very nice. But we're um, open year-round, seven days a week, so... Yes, and which is very... It is uncommon for that area, especially to be open seven days a week. Right. Um, you know, because we, you know, a lot of um, the shops in that area do, you know, close like the Sunday Mondays or Sunday Monday Tuesdays. We just Tuesdays, find we have so. so many people from out of town and... If yeah, they drive all that way, we don't want to not be there. Absolutely, so. which is it's truly an asset for folks who, you know, like myself, if I want to go shopping on a Sunday, you there's, know. there's not a, yes, yeah, so it's good to know that that's available. So, again, tell us what is the Facebook page that we should be following? Follow the VIP group is where the, where the fun happens. Okay. It's Style is Forever TLC VIP group. Okay, very good. Um, and you do have a website as well, so we could yes, get more yep. information. Um, and what is the web address? Onlineapparelshop.com. Onlineapparelshop.com. So very good. Thank you so much, Kendra. Thank you, Tammy, Thank for coming you. and Thank you. Um, just you know sharing your your message and your store and the history of it. And um, certainly encourage everyone as they're shopping this holiday season to keep our dollars local. Um, mm -hmm. Shop small. Come in and uh, let one of uh, either Tammy or Kendra or one of the staff dress you um, so that you are ready for your holiday parties and um, I look forward to coming in and visiting myself so thanks again thank you stay with us after the break and we will be talking shoes and you won't want to miss it this time of year what do you give 
when it's your extra concert, game, or special event tickets to VetTix, you're giving our nation's service members and veterans an amazing experience they'll cherish forever. This holiday season, don't just give. VetTix, give something to those who gave. For more information on how you can make a difference right now, go to VetTix.org. Welcome back to Love Where You Live. Our next guest is John Church, owner of Red Wing Shoes in Sheboygan. Um, so you and your wife, Kelly, who was uh, not able to join us today, but we're so glad we could pull you out of the store to Thank you. Um, share with us a little bit about your business and what we can expect to find. So welcome, John. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me here. I appreciate uh, it. Absolutely. Yeah. We're excited about it. So we spent the first half of the show talking um, about some uh, you know, clothing and boutique shops that can be found throughout Sheboygan. And so we figured what a great follow-up um, to then you know, talk a little bit about shoes. So um, tell me more about Red Wing. I know that um, you're not originally from here, so this was kind of a different endeavor for you. Share yep. with us more about that. So uh, we actually came out to Sheboygan uh, to visit, to have fun. Sheboygan's a beautiful place. Uh, I came out here. Uh, the lake is always a draw for me. I love okay. Lake Michigan. Uh, my daughter moved out here. She started working at Johnsonville Sausage, and so we were visiting, and we were coming out to have fun, not right. to, I had a great job at Red Wing Shoes, and my wife had a great job, and we were very satisfied where we were. At that point, we had no intention of opening a shoe store, although we talked about it for about the last 25 years, because we have a history with Red Wing Shoes. Okay. Um, anyway, bottom line was, we, uh, we looked around one day and said, uh, this is a different kind of a city and county, and it's, it's not your typical city in Wisconsin or in the Midwest. It's very prosperous and efficient and everybody's working and the homes are kept up and the cars aren't broken down in the street. Bottom line is it's, a, it's above par in every aspect and that's when we started asking the question of where did they get their shoes from? Mm -hmm. And that's a question we always ask in every town that we would go to mm -hmm. is because we're shoe people. Right. So. Um, Coming from Red Wing, uh, we went back to Red Wing and said, you know, Sheboygan's unique and you guys should take a look at it. And they said to my wife and I, if you don't open a shoe store up there, we will somehow. We overlooked it. Wow. And so we had to make that decision of whether we were going to change our careers uh, and do this or, you know, so here we are. And you worked for Red Wing, but you were not a business owner at the time. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. So, so I worked in the tannery. So Red Wing Shoes owns SB Foot Tanning. It's okay. one of the most efficient and best tanning operations in America. And uh, we produce leather for many, many customers besides Red Wing shoes. We sell to, I think we, the last I checked, we were at uh, nearly 100 steady customers buying leather from us. Wow. Big, big, large customers. Right. And Red Wing shoe is our primary customer. Okay. And so we produce uh, millions of square feet for combat boots to... Uh, fashion shoes mm -hmm. to um, many other companies that manufacture leather products. Wow, mm -hmm. so I had no idea. Mm -hmm. So um, you guys opened your doors two years ago, Great. is that correct? Yep. Okay, and then you decided to uproot your family, move to a new community, become small business owners, mm -hmm. something you hadn't done in the past. Tell us a little bit about that journey. So we decided that uh, Sheboygan, uh, the, the opportunity here for uh, work boots, for because of the industrial base in Sheboygan County, mm -hmm. the demographics are uh, manufacturing, uh, and that's, you know, we are a manufacturing community across the board. Right. Wages are good. The unemployment is low. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a nearly a recession-proof uh, uh, economy around here. Right. And everything about it said this is a perfect fit for Red Wing Shoes. Okay. So we provide a product that's a, uh, a purpose-built work boot as our primary product. We sell okay. probably 75% of our product is safety toe. Okay. And then uh, we have hunt boots and hike boots and fashion shoes. So our fashion is more is what we call the heritage line. So that's the product that is the takeoffs from the old shoes we used to make, um, dress shoes, dress casual. They shine up nice if you want them to look. So an example would be a boot like this. This is an Iron Ranger. Okay. okay? So this mm -hmm. is a woman's shoe. 
Um, right. It's U.S. made, 100% made in America, like much of our product. This is a 2406. This is a safety toe. Okay. So that shoe is has a safety toe in it, and this is one of our best sellers in our store, which is okay. a Red Wing uh, U.S. made shoe. Both of these have U.S. leather in them and are built in Red Wing, Minnesota. We have two manufacturing plants. One is in Potosi, Missouri, and of course, as I said, Red Wing, Minnesota. Right. In our Tannery operations, we have around 200 people. In our shoe plants, we probably run in the neighborhood of 800 to um, in Red Wing and 400 in Potosi, thereabouts. Okay. And our headquarters are there as well, and that's not included in those numbers. So we manufacture a lot of product in America, right. millions of pairs. Right. And uh, that is our our main core of what we sell is U.S. made products. That brought us to Sheboygan because we know and love our product. Mm -hmm. we, met, we have friends that make these shoes. Literally, we have family, personal family at Red right. Wing Shoes. And so we know the product so well that we love the company. And I know that sounds funny, but we really do love well, Red Wing good. Shoes. It's good to be passionate. I mean, it makes it easier to, you yep. know, sell to a community if it's something that you're really strong and passionate about. So. It, it is, and, and it's, uh, it, we couldn't sell something that we didn't believe in. And that makes it easy for us to uh, have made this wild move. Most people right. don't quit their good jobs and right. start over again, especially in when you're at, uh, you know, 53 years old. <laughs> so um, bottom line, we found Sheboygan. Red Wing uh, said, we'll do it if you don't. And we made the decision to come out here because Sheboygan is a gem and Sheboygan County is a gem. Mm -hmm. uh, it has so much opportunity and potential here that uh, anyone that's looking for business should consider Sheboygan County. Very cool. So we were talking a little bit about, um, now certainly there is a connection to Red Wing corporate headquarters mm -hmm. and all of that, but... Um, the, the individual stores are, in fact, small businesses, and they are not owned by mm -hmm. um, this large corporate entity. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that is um, probably a misconception that a lot of people are under the impression of. So, you know, as we're talking about, you know, keeping our dollars local and, and shopping small, mm -hmm. um, you know, you are a member of the community, your family is a member of the community, and you are a small business owner in the community. So... Um, you know, kind of talk to us a little bit about, you know, that small business aspect. Right. So um, we, uh, my wife and I live in Sheboygan uh, proper, and uh, we, we own this store. So there, a lot of impressions are that Red Wing Shoes, because it's a, a global company, mm -hmm. that the shoe stores are owned by the corporation. There are some corporate stores, okay. but a very small percentage of the stores are that. The majority are owned by people like me. We invest our money into the store. Mm -hmm. We live in Sheboygan. We buy our groceries, our gas, or we go out for dinner. We buy yeah. our clothes here. Everything I buy basically comes from Sheboygan right. County. And so those dollars that we bring into our store once they're here they're going back into they're Sheboygan County here. so when you buy a pair of shoes from me you're contributing to the potholes and the street lights and the mm -hmm. schools and, we won't and, talk about potholes in Sheboygan yeah well th but they're getting better right <laughs> that's a, yes that's a sore subject <laughs> <laughs> but, but they're getting better thanks to people like us small businesses absolutely right? and so if you have if you, if you if you're spending your money local you're keeping it local. Once it leaves Sheboygan County, it's gone forever. And mm -hmm. we really do encourage people to consider that when they're doing their shopping. Right. Yep. Absolutely. And especially with the holiday season upon us. And, and yes, you do a lot of work boots, which, you know, I would say that anybody would be thrilled to get a new pair of boots for mm -hmm. Christmas, whether work or unwork related. Mm -hmm. But you do have the fashion line as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think even for myself, before we had some conversations over the past year, I was under even the impression that it was more just work boot related. For and sure. it, it didn't apply to me. Yeah. Um, but, you know, even looking at the women's, um, you know, boots that you've brought here, that is a very popular mm -hmm. style right now. And you see, you know, a lot of folks around town, you know, that are kind of, they want that look and mm -hmm. it's and it's practical, especially as the cold weather rolls in and, right. you know, snow and sleet and all of that ugliness that we get to encounter for the next few months. Um, but, you, you offer some other unique um, things as well. And, and I know we've had conversations about why your work boots mm -hmm. are you know, superior to mm -hmm. possibly some of the others that are out there. Tell me a little bit about that. So um, 
uh, well, well this, uh, I'll do a two-part answer here. So first of all, when uh, we're different in our store than other shoe stores that sell product like ours. Um, there are very few shoe stores left that actually measure feet, that okay. actually sit down and talk to you about what you do. Mm -hmm. What kind of work do you do? Are you in, in, in a wet environment? Are you a cold environment? Do you have uh, work on ladders? We're going to find out exactly what you do so that we can direct you to a, a proper shoe. That's why we sell what we call purpose-built footwear. Okay. So the boots that we manufacture in our shoe plants have an intent. And, and so we have everything from lineman boots to factory boots to you know, a boot that's going to be soft on concrete mm -hmm. and, and uh, waterproof shoes. Bottom line, we're going to find out, and we, what we can call it is we call it counseling. We counsel every customer to guide them to the right product. And once we've identified their job, that they're in the realm of the work that they do, then we, we're going to measure their feet. And we have a lot of boots on our shelves, and it's not because we want to have a lot of fashionable options in the safety footwear right. world. We have a lot of boots because... <laughs> because they have different purposes and they have different configurations and shapes and they're built on different lasts. The last is the mold that the shoe is built over. Okay. And everybody's foot is different. Mine mm -hmm. are different than yours, different than everyone else's. Right. And so then we identify the profile and fit you into um, an appropriate footwear. Okay, yeah. very cool. And mm -hmm. you have some, um, and I know we're, we're nearing the end, but mm -hmm. before we do, you obviously you have some socks, you have, it looks like, inserts, yeah. so. So I brought along some orthotics. So that's a big part of the fitting process, is okay. once, we, once we've once we identified your foot profile and a mm -hmm. shoe that'll work in your environment, then we customize that fit. There's no one out there that can build a shoe that's gonna match everyone's wow. foot. yeah. So when then we scan, uh, we, do, we do a computer scan, and we'll identify how your arches are, whether they're high or low, or mm -hmm. whether you stand on one foot, it's funny or whatever, and we can make recommendations for an orthotic that will match the profile of your foot. Okay. okay. And there, we have many, many different styles there. Right. And they're affordable, and they're very, very effective in, in accomplishing the goal, which is to relieve foot pain and pressure. Absolutely, so especially the, for mm -hmm. someone on the floor. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And you know, depending on you know what their their role is mm -hmm. in their um, organization, but um, absolutely, and I think we've probably all experienced foot pain at some point, but For it sure. goes beyond that. You know, it goes up to the knees, to the hips, to the back, et cetera. So it's not just a foot problem. It comes a whole body problem. It's a foundation, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people uh, also are, um, they're, they're shorting the, the most important job thing that they do, which is earn a living. And so if you're not in comfortable footwear, if you're not making an attempt at accomplishing the best fit and comfort for your feet, right. your work is harder. Right. It's already absolutely. hard. That's why they pay us to do it. Right. Right. Nope. I absolutely agree. So before we end, um, tell us where can we find you in Sheboygan? So my address is 2936 South Business Drive. Okay. So when you're on the south end of town, in front of the Piggly Wiggly area, there's a, uh, a the Strip and there's a Burger King and a Verizon Little Caesars. We're right in between those okay. areas, right on the road. And we're there. Very good. Well, thank you so much, John. It was such a pleasure to have you. And sorry, Kelly couldn't join us. I'm assuming she's kind of manning Kelly, the fort at Kelly the store. Kelly is running the store. All right. Very good. So <laughs> she wants you to get back there quickly, I'm sure. But um, but no, thank you so much. And certainly, um, you know, again, I will just encourage our viewers to shop local this holiday season and um, make sure that you're getting out and you're visiting some of these small locally owned businesses because mm -hmm. these are our neighbors. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we support them as they can Continue to support our local economy and you know doing the things and bringing the goodness um, and keeping it in our community so thanks again um, we're so grateful you were able to join us and it's my pleasure thank um, you we look forward to seeing you guys all again uh, for the next show in January on behalf of everyone at the chamber and the crew of love where you live we wish you a very happy and healthy holiday season um, we'll see you all next year